Hello there, welcome back to another Ronking Brad video. This time, it's for Teddy Hall Relays. <laughs> Teddy Hall Relays is an event organised by Oxford University's Cross Country Club. There are four legs of around 6.7 kilometres and the route takes in some of Christchurch Meadow, which is here, as well as some of the centre of Oxford City itself. Starting at Ifley Road, we run down towards Donington Bridge, run up the river path, take in a lap of Christchurch Meadow, run past Magdalen College and back to Ifley. I am running for my college team. My college is Worcester. Our team name is the Worcester Ducks. Named such because at Worcester we have a lake, and in that lake there are many ducks. So I guess that's our college animal. Fellow Worcester team member Charlie McMillan joined me for a little course recce. So we're now recce, we're now at the start end point of a run, so the track's behind us. We're going to start there and then come out here and go right along to Donny Bridge. And then at the end we're going to come back here and then finish on a lap of a track as well. We're on Donny Bridge. This is it, probably the first, first hill. <laughs> Little hill. You wouldn't call it a hill on that kind of. Well, compared to... Oxford gradients. It's just reasonably yeah. steep. Right, we're coming up to the most technical part of the course now. And this is a little switchback to go down here. And then, whoa, what can we do here? <laughs> That's the way to go. Then <laughs> take a left onto the towpath. Alright, here's the second hill. It's actually one followed by another. Oh, it's two one. hills in a row. Whoa! I need to get a nice little downhill on the other side there. Ready for the second hill. The third hill. This is where I marshaled in first again. So would you take the steps of the ramp? Alright, I'll do it throw it. You do the steps, I'll do the ramp. Alright. So you get set up and on at the same pace, yeah? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Worcester are fielding a strong team this year. We are aiming for the Mixed College Award. So we have myself, Charlie, Flo and Caitlin, all of whom have represented the university in the first team. So we've got some strong hopes for a good result. Last term, Worcester won the Mixed Cross Country Cup. So we're looking to uphold this success and Worcester's dominance as a top running college. Whilst I dream on of college success, it looks like we've finished the recce now. This is Maudlin and the right turn back towards Ifley. The predominant competition at running races is not so much the race itself, but the kit you wear to it. Worcester's college colours are pink and black, so my kit selection for tomorrow does its best to emulate that. We have black shorts, a pink vest, black cap, black arm warmers, which I might not wear, a pink strap on the watch, and zoom flyers. Many scientific papers have documented the positive effect on performance that wearing brightly coloured socks can have. So for tomorrow, I'm wearing these. And they also have the pink and black for Worcester College colours. Right, it's bedtime, I'll see you tomorrow. It was a late start, I got up, had my favourite breakfast, porridge, then packed for bag, with all the Worcester stuff I had and cycled to Italy. Got to a track and then walked over to register. Right, registration, we've got Club Captain Belinda with her numbers. Thank you very much. This is Oliver Paulin. Oliver Paulin has given me a lift to Intercounties on Saturday and the Batten. Thank you very much. I don't think I'm going to get embarrassed. You don't want to get embarrassed? 
Ah ja, und das ist We did a 2K warm up and talked about the state of our and our friends' teams. We agreed that Worcester had a strong one, but Indy seemed to be lacking confidence in his own team. We also remarked that there were quite a few people there. In fact, 98 teams had entered into what was actually going to be quite a large event. The Zoom flies made their way onto my feet and it was time to go. This is about three quarters through the race, just coming into Christchurch Meadow of the first leg. That was me and Indy who just went past. After the first kilometre, I told Indy that his laces were untied um, and he looked down and he got full. But karma hit me and I got dropped. This is me coming in now and currently fourth position. Um, in the end, I finished in fifth. So I ran 3.04, 3.13, 3.12, then 3.26, 3.30, 3.28, which is when you're seeing me now, and then a 3.19 to finish. So I did die off the pace a little bit. Normally, I would say that Christchurch Meadow is a glorious place to run, but today was not because I was pretty tired. I got dropped by the RAF guy and Matt Barrington caught me up and we were coming through the end together. The footage is courtesy of Hannah and Charlie McMillan, fellow teammate, um, who were out on the course to cheer me on. Though I was to finish in fifth, a relay race is about all members of the team, so there are three more Worcester people ready to go. And that meant that we could overtake the people in front of us, who were in the next category, only the important ones, um, and try to win the award. From this point, I dropped a 3.19 into the headwind and finished in fifth. Then I handed over to Flo and it was marshalling duties for me. Linda showed me how to do it. Meanwhile, Flo, in her Giro d'Italia Malia Rosa, pure Worcester colours, look at this, was crushing it through Christchurch and overtaken the mixed teams and we were now in first position for the next part. Still was in the flow and next up was Caitlin Ridgway to take the baton for the third leg. Getting footage is an eternal problem of mine so next up we have Caitlin at the end of her third leg um, coming in to hand over baton to Charlie McMillan. Caitlin also had a great run today. Uh, everyone from Worcester was firing on cylinders and we were smashing it. The baton was passed to Charlie. Here he is. He anchored us in a time 20 seconds faster than my first leg. Not salty at all, definitely not. Um, but we finished in mixed college and mixed overall first place, so what more could we have done? Marshalling was getting really cold and hungry, so Antoine turning up with his snaps was absolutely beautiful. And look at this. This man is something else. Yum. We arrived at Teddy Hall College in the nick of time, right ready for the start of the prize giving. And Worcester won the mixed team event, overall and college team as well. Um, so yeah, go us I guess. Flo also got the third fastest time. Here we are, unfortunately Caitlin missed um, because she had a chute. We gave the spare food for Teddy and the JCR. I got back to Worcester and pitched Caitlin her prizes. And there we go, that was the end of the day. Teddy Hall Relay is complete. Here's a roundup. So Worcester were the fastest mixed team which meant that we got some prizes. I mean, check this out. This is a cap from Ify Road. Ify Road describes itself as a timeless British running kit, named after the track where Roger Bannister uh, broke the four minute mile for the first ever time, or at least the road on which the track is on. Um, we also got some socks from um, Ify Road as well. Now, these are very, very lightweight, and I think I might be using these for racing in the future. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to Oliver Paulin and Joe Morrow, who were the event directors yesterday. Um, obviously without them it would not have been possible and they did an excellent job of making sure it was a really good fun event. But also thanks to everyone else who helped out Marshall on the day and did some of the background jobs that kept everything ticking on very smoothly. And of course, well done to everyone who took part. It was a good day and also seven kilometres is a hard distance. I mean, it's not it's longer than a 5k and it's not quite a 10k either, so that pacing is really difficult. So well done to everyone who took part and hope to see you all there next year.